Hello Leopard fans, I'm Joe Blaze Bush. Basketball is a hot topic around here at this time of year, and our season so far has been just that. The Lady Leopards are rolling. Our girls currently have a record of 13-3 and, and have accumulated an impressive conference record of seven wins and one shy loss. They have been playing some great basketball most recently with a win over the Boxite Miners last Saturday night. Pull out a win against a good Boxite team that beat Mina pretty good last night. So uh, I'm you... really proud of them, really proud of them. Uh, this is where the legs, <laughs> you know, uh, you get a little bit uh, uh, you know, games in it and play a lot of minutes and your legs start to get dead and tired and, and uh, we just have to really work on our attitudes and uh, and our and our want to this week and uh, just really wanting to uh, bring bring home and finish out this conference season. Our Leopards are also on a roll. The boys are currently sitting at 12 and 6 and have a conference record of 5 and 4. They beat Box Size Saturday and will host the rival Scrappers tonight here at Leopard Arena. Head coach Logan Lindley is very proud of his boys who have won three of their last four games and has set them up nice as they approach conference time. Uh, proud of our guys for continuing to fight. It was a fun game uh, and we just got to move on and get ready for our next one. It's going to be Tuesday night, hard fought game against another opponent, so it's going to be fun. But I'm proud of our guys. We stuck together, played well, and uh, I'm excited for the you know closing out this next few weeks of the season. Yeah, we need our students to show up and show out that game, okay? It'll be fun. Our boys will be excited for that. I know I'm already excited for that. So show up, get loud, and have a good time Tuesday night. The, se the season is winding down for the junior high girls. The district tournament starts the second week of February. They kicked off our Saturday night sweep of Boxite with a win and defeated the Nashville Scrappers last night in a nail-biter by a final score of 34-31. to Coach Julie Adcock is very proud of what her girls have become as a team and is now preparing for tournament time. Uh, the game went well, pretty well for us. Our plan was to um, get more rebounds than they did and ha have every loose ball, and I think my kids fought really hard and played well. Uh, we have a lot of games um, this coming up week. We have three games this week, and we need to win all of them to put us in the best position for the tournament bracket the following week. So we've got a lot, a lot of work to do this week. Yeah, I think we were young in the beginning, and um, my kids have grown a lot tremendously over the season. They've really learned how to play hard and hustle, and that's uh, we've kind of changed things for us. Along, I hope it carries throughout, and we pick up some wins along the way. The Junior Cubs season is also coming to a close, and the Cubs are hoping to make a tournament run. Their season has been rough, but they have been comp competitive in all of their games and have learned how to fight. Coach Lance Bradshaw is impressed in his boys' play and their mental toughness. Man, I was really proud of our guys. Man, they played so hard. Uh, probably one of our best defensive efforts. We've been kind of struggling to put the ball in the hole, but tonight we found our stride a little bit on that, and the guys executed. They played hard. Uh, had the lead late and had to hang on to it. Now, I was really proud of our guys. They took care of the basketball when they had to and made the plays when they needed to to secure the win. Man, one thing that about our conference is, man, it's wide open. Anybody can win it. Like, in our conference, everybody's beating everybody. Like, all our records are pretty much the same, so anybody can win it. And we're taking that approach that it's going to be us. And, uh, man, we're trying to play our best ball. We're trying to fine-tune our defense and our offense so that when it rolls around next week, we're ready to go. We have Nashville Monday, Mina Wednesday, and Fountain Lake Thursday, and then the tournament starts Saturday. So we got three big games coming up, kind of back to back to back, and then we roll right into the tournament. But that's how we want it. Going to be a huge and busy week with all the makeup games, but to enjoy this, to enjoy our games from your couch, you can tune into our YouTube channel and watch our live stream of the Nashville game tonight, or turn your radios to 92.1 to listen to the game. That's all the sports we have for you this week. Remember, this show will be airing every Tuesday to give you the most up-to-date info on your Leopard sports teams. Have a great week, everyone, and remember, it is always a great day to be a Leopard.